Hi, this is Jim Schaffner and I'm coming at you from the Start House Ski Shop in Truckee, California. Today I want to talk about cold feet, cold feet and race boots. Race boots have very little room in them and very little room for air, so they tend to be cold. Polyurethane shells, which most of the race boots are made out of, are a very good conductor of cold, so it's very easy for the cold to get from the outside to the inside of the boot. What we're going to talk about today is proper installation in a race boot. That's a boot that uses a lace-up liner to get into of a Hotronic foot warmer or a Thermic foot warmer device. So from here, I'm going to go through the process to properly install uh, a foot warmer inside of a race boot. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the placement of my pad uh, right over the toes and then I'm going to route it so that it allows the big toe to sit right on the deck and the cable will go between the first and the second toe uh, and it's going to exit out the arch so that it can uh, be stepped into with a race up a lace up liner. Um, then I'm going to draw uh, a guide as to where I'm going to uh, put the pad and then I need to make some marks for a few of the high points, this little plastic box, the connectors here, and then my opening hole, and then I will draw those out where I'm going to remove material and open this up. And I'm going to open up a spot for Okay, next step is to actually go and bevel around the edge so that there is no uh, feeling at all from the foot when it stands on the heat pad. And we will also work from the outside to inlay the cable into the footbed like so. So this has to be opened up and this material around the edge of the footbed has to be beveled so that you cannot feel the leading edge as you slide into the boot. Okay, now that it's beveled, we're ready to uh, glue up. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make my my bevel okay now we've got our guide for the cable and we're good to go next step is just a little glue right around uh, the edge just so I get a really good bond and there's no chance of the edge uh, popping up. So just a touch of glue in that area and we're going to let that dry. Then we'll thread this through, remove the sticky back. I'm going to place this in my exact spot and the beauty of this is I cannot feel any edge at all it's going to the foot's going to slide right onto here perfectly because it's inset just slightly and then in here I'm just going to route the cable into my channel um, and I'll put a piece of covering tape on that just to make sure that it's all good and can't be felt by the foot uh, Gorilla tape and I bring this right up the arch So this also is flat and smooth, and okay. So I'm flat on the bottom. I have a landing spot for my big toe. Can't feel the cable at all through here, and it's going to come nicely out the arch and around the back of the liner. Before I set this in the boot, though, I want to cover this. Now, when I've got very little room 
I'll send it out without a cover at all so that this is right on the toes. But when I have enough room to cover, I'm going to put the very small Cambrel cover on this. And this goes something like this. I cover the heat pad and run the Cambrel out in a smooth line up and over the back of the footbed so that uh, when it's in the boot the heel slides down onto it and it takes up as little room as possible I'll trim away the excess at the toe now we're ready to go into uh, the liner so the way this is going to work is that the footbed is going to sit inside the liner and the cable will run uh, through the arch underneath the ankle bone and out the rear and I'm going to keep it held uh, with the velcro forward lean wedge and if you're not using a forward lean wedge we could just use a piece of velcro to hold it uh, so that way there's no glue on the outside of the lace-up liner that's really important because uh, we don't want to get it all gummy and sloppy and sticky because then it'll be harder to get inside of the boot the idea is to uh, be able to get in and out with a lace-up liner without tearing the cable and without getting a bunch of glue and glue residue all over the shell or the liner okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is mark uh, the spot where my cable is going to come through with my mark I'm coming inside the liner like so and I'm going to feed the footbed in and then feed the cable through the arch in the hole like so Make sure that it's lying flat and then I'm going to put a, in this particular case I'm not using a, a spoiler so I'm just going to put a piece of velcro over it across to hold this in place. So now what I have is the cable coming smoothly out of the arch running behind the ankle bone which is right here and exiting the back and this way when you go to step in the liner the liner will not catch or the cable will not catch on the rivets that are in the back of the boot that consistently wear out a hole in the corner of lace-up liners so that's kind of an important move and that's why in a race boot we typically do not run it out the back we run it out the arch so at this point the liner can go into the shell without doing any damage to the cable and it comes out right on the outside pointed to the outside where you're going to put your uh, your battery the battery in the center of the boot below the clip so that uh, the battery won't get hit by gates if it's up high and it'll still be in the cuff of the pant to set the battery using one of these extensions that will hold the battery on the outside of the leg up underneath the speed suit and the battery can then snap on and with the little levers underneath uh, snap off so that the batteries can go back inside to be charged so this is one method here and the other method is attaching this attachment to the rear of the boot alright so when you rear mount uh, on a race boot uh, you just set this in flip the battery and plug it in so it sits here behind, can't get hit by a gate from either direction, and won't get hit by the chairlift. And as I said, the secondary mount option was to just have the strap mount, and this will stay up slightly behind 
and covered by the, the speed suit. So you can go either route on race equipment. 